Now we're going to access a port cath with a Huber needle. So Kat, take it away. So I could show you how to access this through the skin, but that's not going to help you very much visually if you've never worked with a port cath So I'm actually going to take the skin off. Okay, so this is our port cath um, and this is the line that actually goes into the subclavian. So what I have here is a little rubber port and that's where we stick the Huber needle and it is a 90 degree needle so this is going to lay flush against the skin okay now we're not going to go through sterile technique and all of those things um, we've done that in other videos and you'll learn that for real when you actually have to do this um, however we're going to go through what it actually looks like to access it okay so I uh, feel under the patient's skin that this is sticking up Okay, so it lays under that subcutaneous layer. So I can feel that this is sticking up through the patient's skin. So I'm going to feel around and make sure what kind of device I have. Sometimes they're in a triangle. Sometimes there are two side by side. Um, and each one of those means something slightly different. Okay, so but I just have one. So I'm going to stabilize this with one hand while I clean it. And again, your facility will tell you exactly what you need to do to clean it. I'm just using a chlorhexidine wipe so that you can see. Now, this is going to be cleaning the skin directly over that little rubber port, okay? And this is typically a completely sterile procedure. Um, so you're going to want to be very mindful of what hand is dirty and what hand is clean, of course. Now, I'm going to grab my needle and I'm going to pull the sheath off, okay? Now, I'm not going to grab it here because that's actually going to activate the safety mechanism and cause me to not be able to use my needle, okay? So I'm actually going to grip it pretty firmly to start with. Now, I'm going to stabilize my port, and I'm going to stick right in the center. And you ask, how can you tell what the center is? Well, I've cleaned it, and now I have a sterile hand, so I can go back and feel that again if I really, really have to, okay? So I'm going to stick right between my fingers, and then that is going to, I'm going to show you here from a sideways view. So with the subcutaneous tissue in between it, that's actually going to lay flush against the skin, okay? With that stabilized, okay, so we're going to go back to having it stabilized. I'm going to check and see if I can get a blood return. And I should be able to if it's in the correct spot, okay? And then I'm going to flush pretty forcefully, and then I'm going to come back and flush with heparin as well, okay? Especially if I'm not going to go ahead and use it. If I'm going to go ahead and hook it up to an infusion, then I don't need to worry about the heparin right now. Now, if I want to discontinue this needle, I'm going to grab it by the wings and push them in, and that's going to be how I activate my safety. So I'm going to show you how that looks from the side, okay? So I'm grabbing these wings and I'm stabilizing the port the whole time because I don't want to pull on the patient, okay? So I'm grabbing these wings and pushing them together in one smooth shot out, okay? So my port's stabilized and I just pinch them together and that's my safety. And that's how you access a port of cath and deaccess.